Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 33, the screencast that imports and writes practical Python knowledge to your brain. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we'll be talking about the pickle module. One thing that you end up doing quite a lot when you program is dumping out data from a program and you want to read it back in later. So you want to save state. So let's say we had a complex object. So let's call this complex and we'll make it a dictionary of, let's see, one. And then that dictionary will have, let's say, a list in it. One, two, three. And then the next one, two, whoops, will be four, five, six, these integers. So we saw with reading and, and writing to files that you have to sort of stringify everything. And of course, if you read that data back in, you'd have to turn those strings of, in this case, one, two, and three, you'd have to take the, the strings and turn them back into integers. We have integers here. A great module that's included in Python is called pickle. And what pickle is going to let us do is take an object, even, in a, even a complex object like this, and just write that out to disk and read it back in later. We don't have to write any parsers. We don't have to write any ways of turning it into a string to put it on disk. It's just going to do that automatically for us. So let's take a look. Um, first, we have to open up a file, uh, f equals open uh, output. And let's call it pickle. We're going to open that for writing. And I'm going to say pickle.dump. So the dump method of pickle takes an object, uh, in this case complex, and we're going to write that out to f. That's it. f.close. It's written. So let's take a look. So we have pickle cat pickle. So you see this stringified representation of our complex data type. And you can see some pieces of the actual data in here, two and, and one. Um, and it's not exactly a closed format. You can figure out how you could write your own uh, implementation of pickle in another language if you wanted to. Uh, so let's open up a new program. And f equals open. We're going to open that with read permissions, so I don't have to specify anything. So now f is ready to read, and I'm going to take um, new complex equals pickle dot load, whoops, l o a d, and the file object f. So it's going to read in to the variable new complex the whoops helps if I spell right pickle dot load f. Oops. Got to import pickle. And now new complex and you see it's a dictionary. It's got our data 2 1. It's exactly what we we dumped out to disk. So now that's a great way we don't have to make any custom parsers. Um, so that's fantastic. Another way of doing this and perhaps for large objects, a better way is import cpickle. cpickle is implemented in C uh, and thus runs a lot faster. So I almost exclusively use cpickle. And you'll use this the same sort of way. So let's say output equals um, open output with write access. So now we have this output file. Uh, and same thing, C pickle dot dump uh, new new complex and output. Uh, another parameter that I just want to mention real quick here is there's a third parameter that will dump it out in binary mode. We saw that there was a stringified representation of the data in in the pickle that we used. Uh, 
often faster for writing would be to write it out in a binary format. Now you're not going to be able to look at it uh, on the command line and you, you may not have parsers for the binary format but if speed is a concern you can just uh, pass true as the third parameter and it will write it out in binary format. In this case we're just going to go ahead and do the text um, uh, and we'll do output dot whoops close and same thing written right out to disk same way that is the pickle module and that's all for now this screencast is directly inspired by the official python tutorial by guido van rossum at python.org